So we're gonna be doing this generally without product. Um, just assuming we're out and about, like this can, this is the easiest thing ever because you literally don't need anything but a chair. Um, couple of things to consider. We're gonna be focusing on the upper back, neck and shoulders, couple of bones to worry about. There's the scapula, there's obviously the spine. That's basically it though. Um, we also have the clavicle in the front and the humerus, which is the top part of the arm. So the clavicle, the scapula, and the humerus come together to make the shoulder. So we've got all these little attachments, but generally we're focusing on the upper trapezius and then some of the posterior neck. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna take my forearm and place it basically right here where the neck meets the shoulder. I'm just gonna apply a nice steady compression. Okay, and with every little compression, I'm gonna move a little bit alongside the spine <clears throat> towards the back of the body. And her skin has a little bit of natural glide to it anyway. So that's another reason why you really, a lot of the time don't need product. If you go slowly enough and you're patient enough, you don't need anything else. Okay, Cassie has that pressure on that one to five scale. Oh, uh, right now it's like a two. Like a two, okay, good. Okay, now on our second pass, I'm gonna ask you to take your right hand, stretch it up and grab the side of your head. And as I do the compression, you're gonna do a stretch. Go ahead and do that. And try to let your left arm dangle down to your side if you can. Good. How's that stretch? Good. And you can stretch it in a variety of like angles and it doesn't have to be just side to side. Okay, and I've switched to using more of an elbow here. I don't know if you can tell, but using an elbow is definitely more intense. Make sure you're breathing through that stretch. Good. Good. Now I'm adding in some little scrubbing circles while I'm in there. Okay, how was that? It's good. Good. Okay, we're gonna do the other side now. Okay, I'm gonna start with the regular compression. So this is essentially the warm up. okay? So this is not your time to start digging in and getting crazy and using your elbow this is the time to be patient and do those slow steady compressions what's happening with these compressions is more blood is kind of coming into the area and then on your second pass you can go ahead and do that lateral stretch you're going to start getting more and more intense mm -hmm. <clears throat> And notice my footing is also nice and, and spread out. I've got one foot there and the other foot's all the way back here. Make sure you're breathing through the stretch. Stretching and breath are besties. They love each other. Kind of like me and Cassie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I'll go ahead and release that stretch whenever you're ready. And I'm gonna go into some scrubbing circles with my forearm, going down that same path, mm -hmm. starting here where the neck meets the shoulder and going down, staying as close to the spine without ever being on the spine. And I'm using my other hand as a sort of guide to feel where the spine is and then staying right next to it. And how's that pressure? Good. Still like a two? Yeah. Okay. Other things you can do, some pincher compression. That's like a four. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. You're too strong for me. <laughs> and you can carry this down through the shoulder, which is nice. It allows you to engage mm -hmm. some of the anterior, the front part of the shoulder. Here, let your head kind of naturally just go forward. This is a really nice one because it also, you're using a broader tool, like the heel of your hand, and it allows you to engage some of the fascia and connective tissues of this area as well. And do a little on this side and then I'm going to come back to the neck. Okay. So I'm going to use supported thumbs, like politician thumbs, not Fonzie thumbs, politician thumbs. <laughs> And I'm kind of going in, if you look at my arms, I'm kind of flapping my wings. So I'm not just using my wrists, I'm using my whole arm, keeping my wrists nice and straight. And I'm going in towards the spine from the outside. So all the muscles of the neck run this way, generally. I'm going in across those fibers. How's this pressure for you? It's like a four and a half. Ooh, do you want me to lighten up to a four? Yeah. Okay. Please let me know if I'm ever above like a three. Okay. I'm gonna add in a little bit of rocking. Can switch to a softer tool again. Now, if you really, really um, trust your partner and you can do some other body positions. So let's hit the pause button on this real quick.